Good morning. It is Wednesday, April 8th for reading today on willbooks.com with the link in your lesson plans for this week. You are reading Sing, Sam, Sing. And after the book, you are talking with your child about what are two things that Sam likes. And on each page of this book, it tells you a thing that Sam likes. So they should be able to remember two of the things that Sam likes. If you're noticing they're struggling with that, then once again, please make sure they reread it or you read it to them so that they can really come up with that comprehension answer. In language, we are continuing sequence, story order. So it's the way that things happen in a story, first, second, last, or first, second, third, and lastly, any way you word it. And on page 60 in your language books, you are continuing that. Um, it's just the page right after what you did yesterday. So your child is going to be writing either first, next, then, or finally on the lines for what the order of the story that makes sense. So they will definitely need some reading help with this um, if you're able to help them. If they're able to do it on their own, wonderful. But I think that a lot of them will need help and especially need help just thinking about what exactly makes sense to come first, next, or last. On education.com, you also have a sequence. And on education.com, it says that it is a cut and paste. I don't want you to print it out and cut and paste unless you absolutely want to, unless your child would like that kind of um, just you know, hands-on kind of activity today, then if you want to, go ahead. But please remember to send me a picture of it. If you do it on education.com, then what I'd like you to do instead of cut and pasting is just draw arrows with the pen tool to either first, next, or last. And it is a snowman picture activity. In math, uh, we are continuing writing numbers that are two digit. And these are some big numbers, so they might need your help pronouncing them. And as a reminder for a strategy to help them come up or just to understand what that number exactly is, you can do a tens and ones chart. In class, we call it a T and O chart. Uh, a T and, yeah, T and O chart. And then you just go ahead and put the number of tens and ones. In this case, for 36, it's three tens and six ones. And drawing that out with 10 sticks and one dots, and they should know that from class. We did that a lot in class, so hopefully that kind of piques their interest if you show them the tens and ones chart to help them understand these big numbers. Once again, it's one of those things where it looks simple, but for a first grade mind, they really need some help thinking this through. And then in math, uh, they have another two digit place value game to play today to help them with that place value. And once again, place value is the tens and ones. When you go beyond that, it's hundreds, thousands. So just reminding them what place value means. In writing, they're doing typing, and it's the home row typing, um, F and J, the gem minor game. And that's it for today. So on education.com, the assignments are the two-digit place value machine, the sequence activity, the home row typing, and I believe that that's it today, those three activities. So I hope you have a wonderful day today. And as always, let me know if you need any help or if your, your technology is not working for some reason. I am checking my email all day, every day, ready for you to help you. So I am here. Have a wonderful day. Bye.